Hey everybody, I'm Mr. C, and today I'm gonna show you how to group things by 10, and I'm gonna tell you why it's important too. I've already showed you how to group things by five and group things by two. When you're grouping things by 10, you're usually counting things, and you're probably counting them in real life, right? Like, uh, I think of like somebody dumps a big cup of pennies on the table and I'm trying to count it up. I use grouping and grouping by 10 is one of my favorite ways to count coins specifically. Grouping by tens helps us count really big numbers of things. Uh, if we can group them up and then you skip counting and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right. Here's a big old group of diamonds, right? And if I said, Hey, you got to count all these and you went through and you had to go, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, Mr. C, this is getting hard. Six, six. Wait, did I already count this one? It gets difficult. So use grouping. Put them into groups. Now, this is a lot of diamonds, so I would use groups of 10. Watch. I can just pull this right off to the side. There's 10 here. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's a group of 10 right there. I'm going to pull off another group of 10. And another group of 10. Whip. And another group of 10. Whip. And another group of 10. Whip. Ooh, there's some left over. Let's see how many are left. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not quite a group of 10. So we've got, uh, let's, let's, let's count up all these groups of 10. One, two, three, four, five groups of 10 and seven left over. Now let's use skip counting to see how many that is all together. Ready? 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. 57. Do you see how I skip counted by tens, each one of those groups of 10? And then I counted by ones once I got to my leftovers or my remainder down here. I want you to try this. Go get yourself a cup of pennies or maybe a cup of buttons if you have those. Or, or maybe you can use cereal. Ooh, cereal's a good one. Get a bowl of cereal and carefully dump it out and use grouping by tens to count how many pieces of cereal or how many pennies you have in that bowl or cup. Oh, skip counting in real life. It gets me excited. I will see you next time.